it, you know, everybody making a big hymen. They act like the nigga going in there with his own damn head to check his ass. <laughs> He's saying the fucking doctor. Well, right. my, my thing is, is, like, that's not fair. What's up, guys? It's time for the Homo Talk Show. For Troy Mix Music here. What do you guys say? You're in the building. Got Chris Pratt's ball, baby. Yeah, in the building. Miss you. And of course, you got the bro Nate back in the building. Shout out to Nate. Thank you for coming back. Appreciate you. We got the team today, y'all. Oops, that you're looking like a doll. You were just going um, to look like a baby doll tonight. She just came here to be no, seen. No, I'm, I'm actually on the scene. Let's get right into it. Oh, oh. We need you to do three important things. We need you to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I have the homos T.I. And T.I. will get his daughter's hymen professionally checked at the OBGYN to ensure her virginity. This is invasive and perhaps unnecessary for an older child, but I get it. Young kids will often keep rape a secret. This OBGYN check will allow the parents to find out. Is T.I. correct at all? Is he totally wrong or why? Um... I think, um, you know, at a younger age, you know, that's fine. But when a woman gets to a particular age, her body is her privacy. And even with rape, you don't need to be forcing her to speak on it um, because that could create more trauma. Give them time to heal and speak on it when they're ready. Um, you know, but don't force somebody to, you know, because it, it might be more to it. Like, if you, if there's something going on, you can always, I'm always here. Um, I'm never judging you. And know that I will protect you. There's nobody that's going to hurt you or I'm allowed to hurt you for telling the truth. You know, because a lot of people get intimidated. Oh, I'm going to kill your family or I'm going to ruin your reputation. Let them know that they're in a safe place, a safe space, and y'all will handle it together. You don't have to go, oh, I mean, because you find out that the hymen broke, don't tell you who broke it. So what's the point? Really, you just being nosy and you being in somebody's personal space without permission. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take it on and let you take on, Chris, um, what you think? Well, I'm going to say this. T.I. needs to sit his ass down the way, and I like T.I. 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 done brought it to a whole nother level. Now he about to, because he's such a influential person, now he about to have these grown-ass men around here checking their grown-ass daughter Hymans and shit. And all I got to say is, this is what I'm going to say. From an individual stamp, punk, I'm going to say punk, yeah, I said punk. Y'all know what punk is. From an individual stamp, punk, I'm going to say... He, he's violating, okay? That's what I'm going to say. But from a parent, because I'm a parent too, right? And I have a daughter. I'm going to say to each his own, right? We don't know the full situation in that with him and his daughter. You know, it sounds crazy to us, but we all got some type of dysfunctional shit that we're dealing with in our families, the way we go about things. So can't nobody punk. And I said punk again. Punk the finger at nobody, you heard me? Punk the finger at nobody and tell nobody else how to parent their fucking child. Because at the end of the day, you have to do what's best in your situation. All, all, Every situation is different. So I, you know, I've always been a fan of T.I. I really like him. He's a very smart guy. Very, very smart, wise guy. Um, I don't know why he around here checking hymens. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't really know, but what I do know is that that's that man and his daughter business, and if that's, you know, what he do, if this is nothing new. He's been doing shit like this, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't want to lay up here and judge that man as a father, right, with his daughter. You know, I do feel that it was a bit far-fetched for me from, from, from an individual woman's standpoint because... You know, that is kind of an invasion of privacy, you know, for me as a woman. But as a parent, we invade privacy. You understand what I'm saying? We invade. I'm invade the hell out of my daughter's privacy. You got your privacy. 
but you don't. You understand what I'm saying? At the same time, you got it, but you don't. So I would so even at the age of 18, 19, um, when... I don't give a damn. Listen, listen. <laughs> it could be a man putting his hands on my daughter, and she not saying nothing. I'm going to invade the fuck out that privacy. And I'm going to feed it down. Do you understand? You don't know what can be happening. What could be going on? That's why I'm speaking on this from two different standpoints. Yes, points. You understand what I'm saying? As an individual woman, right, and as a parent, too. So call me both-sided, but from, 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 from the angle and the view, my view on it is different from each angle of it. You understand what I'm saying? It's different when you view it as a parent. As a parent, you don't view things like you're not you're not that individual. You're not just that one person. You look at girl, you, listen, girl, you are invading all type of privacy when you get down to your child and their safety. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't giving a fuck about nothing else. The only thing that you can about is protecting your child. Period. You feel me? So I look, I said what I said. I said I said what I said. All right, Nate, you look like you were being real hard over there. I'm just saying. I'm, 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 I'm just saying. So, so, what? I, I need you to. I need you to speak up, Nate, because if if you say anything, I will. I will release you from the call. So, <laughs> <laughs> now, I mean, I have a daughter too. So, I mean, I feel you. I mean, my daughter was molested. So, you know, things like that. Wow. You just, have to, I mean, as a parent, I feel him on that. And then, if she's a consistent woman, and she's still allowing him to do that, then that's bad business for her. I mean, if she's still allowing him to invade her space, invade her privacy, check for whatever you need to check, because, you know, you know without the cameras, like Chris said, you never know what conversations they're having, what being said, or what's going on. So... I'll give you a ten thousand dollar check if you um if you let me look at it. <laughs> that, that is so scandalous. <laughs> and then I think the word itself, like you know, it, it you know everybody making a big hymen. and they act like the nigga going in there with his own damn head to check his head. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. my, my thing is, is like that's not fair because a lot of women who are very um athletic break their hymen from playing sports. So, if she was an active girl, then what? Well, I saw a meme that said, shit, he's checking a hymen, but she might be on them heads. I heard. But this is, this is what I'm saying. He's checking a hymen, but he ain't checking the throat. Right. He ain't checking the throat. The throat. The throat. All right. The throat. Because it could be somebody breaking the throat. You never know. But at the end of the day, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, what he need to be checking the front is, it, it, you know... <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm not even going to say that. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, it, it's, it's to each his own. If that grown-ass lady, little girl, if that, <laughs> if that grown-ass lady, little girl, allowing her daddy to check her damn hymen at 17, 18 years old, he gets what? That's it. That's on. I agree with Nate. That, that's on them. Period. <laughs> You heard me? I want to know what the results say. <laughs> Ain't nobody talking about the results. Is that what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck, the fuck the happened with the hymen? Is what the fuck, fuck happened with the hymen, dog? Please let me know. Was it, it broke? Was it fractured? Was it, what it's was crap. it? <laughs> oh my god. Well, it looked like you was trying to um meditate and zen over there. This stuff just like it might be too much for you. What, what do you think? Um, at the end of the day, also having a daughter, um, I think that there's a, just a uh, place and time, and I feel like there has to be boundaries, and I feel like with boundaries are set, you won't have to worry about what she's doing, because she's going to be able to have conversations and talk with you, or be able to have an open relationship with your kid. I feel like not being too much of a friend, but being, being their friend, but not too much of a friend, where you can't still correct and be a parent, because... I'm a big kid, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to be my daughter's friend. But also, she know even now, three years old, when I say this, it's that. And that's what right. it's going to be. Uh, I don't want to know about that. Like, I don't need to go into the doctor with her doing all that. It's too much. No, I don't need to go do that. I don't need to do all that. Um, I'm cool with it. Um, I just need to make sure, like, you know, she's doing what she needs to do. Whatever I need to know, I will know. And whatever I, you know, I don't need to know, I won't, I won't, I won't stress myself out trying to find out. 
some things you don't want to know the things of, especially if somebody's been, you know, molested or raped, you know, you don't want to open up those wounds, you know, you want them to be able to come enough to say, this happened to me, man, dad, you know, or uncle or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you don't want them to be to the point where they can't talk to you, so I feel like if you have a certain relationship where you create boundaries, your kid don't want to come talk to you and tell you what's going on, you want them to be checking, I'm like, you know, and doing all that foolishness, that's what, that's what I think. That girl ain't about to tell her daddy she done fucked and got a hymen broke. What the fuck? Like, ain't nobody about to say that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not talking That's not what I'm saying. Like, ain't nobody about to say that. Because who's going to say, is your hymen broken? Who's the fuck's going to ask that? That's not what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? I'm saying, if she's having sex, I would want her to be comfortable to say, at 30 years old, she's finally ready to do it. He didn't break my, look, he, he, the nigga, he didn't break my hymen, but he sure did blow my back out. <laughs> hey, Bye, listen, listen, Bye. all I said, see, Bye. I, see how crazy as fuck. Hey, listen, all I said is, you know, to each his own, every situation is different, every relationship is different. You know what I'm saying? Like, and if that little girl, you know, maybe she like being checked to see, her, see if her high. <laughs> you never know. You know, you know they be getting off on this shit. You understand what I'm saying? We don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on. And T.I. may have heard something. You know what I'm saying? He probably like, uh-uh, not mine. I need to, you know, you don't know what is going on. <laughs> oh, he said, not mine, honey. <laughs> Nate. Nate. I'm done. I'm not checking for your hymen so we can, um, we can sell you out. Um, you feel me, hymen? You know, <laughs> somebody who can carry somebody's child, you know, be like a virgin man. Well, with the boys, they make us, they hold our nuts and they make us cough. With the girls, they shake the hymen, so. Man, listen. Good life is getting your back blown out, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Yuri, you want to close it for me on the porn? <laughs> Done. This has been an awesome, uh, 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 um, what is this, topic? Topic. Clearly got my mouth all discombobulated. But yes, just, I love what we do. I love these topics. Keep them coming. We're going to keep them coming at you week after week. This is what we do. This is the homos talk show. What else can you talk about these kind of things? Right here, baby, each and every week, right here with us. Soon we're going to go live. We're working on it so you can be able to see us going live, actually being a part of it live. We're working on that. We're working on that. But until the meantime, between time, if you like it, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you're always going to read the question one more time. So if you want to be a part of what we're doing, you're going to read the question again. And then we'll let you be a part of it. Boom. All right. So T.I. will get his daughter's time and professionally check in the OBGYN to ensure her virginity. This is invasive and perhaps unnecessary for older child, but I get it. Young kids will often keep rape a secret. This OBGYN check will allow the parents to find out is T.I. correct at all? Is he totally wrong? Why? We want to hear from you. You. Right there. Look at this right now. Listen to it right now. You. Don't scroll. Don't go nowhere else. Answer that question. We want to hear from you. Put a comment in the, in, in the box below. Let us know what you think. Homo Talk Show in the building today. Once again, we had Say Yuri in the building. We had Chris Francois. We had the Pro Nate in the building. And your boy, your boy, Troy Weeks Music. Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next, until next time, we're going to see you. All right, guys. Look. Damn, we finished a good time. I got to scar my daughter. I appreciate